Guys, welcome back. So today's video is gonna be a get ready with me. I'm not sure what. Um, I guess some old. I guess we're gonna be some old makeup. I guess we call it. Um, some of them is not as old, but some of it is. Like this guy's not old, but um, I got this in boxy charm, but I noticed it was kind of like, whatever. And I used it today, and it didn't really. Okay, who are you? This is the um, wing me well put eye primer. I used it today, and it didn't really last the best. So I went frick. I'm just gonna use it as my filming. Um. Eye primer and go from there. So that's the one I'm going to use all the time, because my other one lasts much longer. Um, this one it doesn't blend the best, and it's not going to be good for people with oil. Probably better if people have like dry lids, but not people with oily lids. If you have oily lids, you can forget. It. Okay, so I'm going to use a combination between these two palettes right here. So we're going to that's what we're going to use. Um, so this is a Huda Beauty um, Purple Haze palette. And I'm also going to pour in um, you guys' favorite eyeshadow, this guy. Why not? And at my end, like, if I need some of help from this guy right here for the snow guy, he's going to be in there as well. So we might bring him in there for what the hey. So I'm going to start on that one. Did I grab that brush? Hello. <laughs> right in front of my face. So this is what I'm going to use. I'm just going to go into that purple eyeshadow for the dark one. So I'm probably gonna just gonna do a non-halo eye today because I always do halos. I only do one eye off camera. You didn't get the idea, right? So there's that. I'm gonna use my pants for um to wipe up the crap, I guess. So next I'm gonna go into I guess um maybe a little bit of blue. What the hell? So I might as well use the blue. I like to feather that up so a little bit. another palette. So we're going to use a combination between both palettes. So you can mix if you want to. You can mix cool and warm tone shadows together. It's actually kind of cool to do. Um, this blue right here actually looks kind of like, I forgot, I got it kind of like hat and tapping like that. There we go. Then I'm um, kind of like blend. I guess I'm going to use my big fluff head. Why not? Use it. There we go. Much better. Okay, so this guy. So next, I'm also going to use, um, trying to get my brushes done as dirty. Give you guys this favorite eyeshadow, what the hell hell? This guy, America. So he's like, oh, he's very old and he's, um, working fine. So he's just going to blend on top. I have no idea how this eye look is going to look. I thought I was going to do like more of like a purple blue eye, but I guess you know, with the hey hey. So there's that. So I'm gonna go back in my um, Huda Beauty palette. And kind of go to the edge a little bit and then do a little bit of, I cannot find my other one, so I'm just using this little guy right here. And I'm gonna go into that dark purple. And just do that out of me. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. So now I'm gonna go back into my Huda palette and I want to play with that um this one right here I guess what the hell? Let's see. I'm gonna use a little too light because I was gonna use on um, this peekaboo eyeshadow too so I haven't decided if I want to use um this name doesn't like this case is like really there we go. This one right here. So we're actually gonna let's go on this one real quick. Yeah, that'll work. We're gonna do this one first. So it's gonna be like a light purple smoky eye, I guess. Um been on my channel while well enough, you know I like darker makeup. Um I'm not into the whole she said it's better than stuff cause that is not my cup of tea. I don't do light freaking makeup shit. And I'm gonna go into this guy right here. Let's stick him on that mode. But it kind of looks so like so. So yeah, the only problem with this guy is it's not with this like four mats and they are kind of that like too blendy blend. So I'm going to do the other camera real quick. Okay, so there's that. I try to get the same eye. looks similar, but um, I'm still not happy with it. It's the eyeshadow primer. It does not blend with shit. Um, it's not the best at all, so I do not recommend it. So I'm just actually going to pick with this a little bit in the corner. Okay, that'll work for now. Um, it doesn't like to blend. My ultra one, beauty one, much about this guy? No. 
so yeah um what's the freaking point what it's right in front of my face so anyways um my wing light is coming in tomorrow so i'm so excited i won't be able to film it with it tomorrow because of course the whole you know the situation of me being up in the morning shit um but um i do have one film for tomorrow i'm using a little bit of eye cream because why not <laughs> the makeup evolution actually not too bad I know someone's like was saying like, hey, you gotta make sure you skincare sets for a whole freaking hour. Um, yeah, not happening. So yeah, like normally it sits about not that long, but it's kind of like I just kind of go like this and pat it like that. So we're gonna use the next marshmallow cream primer to go into. Well, I don't even know, dear. And I can't wait to see it's gone because I don't really absolutely love it. So again, like I said, we matching this to here. And I'm mostly going to go on a self tan my arms. Like I see my one doctor tomorrow, so I haven't seen him for a while, so that's a plus. Can't wait. So I'm excited to see that. I'm going to close tomorrow. So um, you guys want me to do a Q&A question, so leave the um, comments down below, anything like that. No stupid shit like you retarded or you dumb or anything like that because I'm going to basically report your ass to freaking YouTube. Actually, YouTube's been reporting comments anyway, so um, lately. So anything like they think it's like harassment or anything like that, it gets reported. So if you see one, it's like, like I know most of you guys don't, but there's a few jackasses that do. Cause they think it's hilarious. Um, if you want to watch the thing, like, like the whole thing in my opinion, but um, uh, bowling anything like that, check in my other get ready with me video. Um, explaining details. I'm not gonna do that because you never know what's gonna happen. So I've been doing this. Um, I actually finished up my other sunspray. So I'm using this guy right here. This is 100% pure of um watermelon and cucumber. So I'm just gonna spray my face real quick. Just real quick. There we go. So it gives me a little bit more of a moisturizer. Kind of like it's hydrates the skin a bit, and I'm going to use um, the Covergirl Trooper in matte. He's actually going to be probably joining one of my project pans soon. I'm not sure what, but um, yeah. <laughs> I forgot how yellow this guy is. Okay, it's more not yellow. It's golden. It does actually blend pretty good. Um, match the rest of my body. Believe it or not. Lion's always a bitch, especially when it's nine o'clock at night. So yeah, there's that. I swear to God, like it always looks weird from like. So I'm just gonna pull a bit more on there, cause why not? Cause this it always looks slighter, in my opinion. So I need to wash my hands. Sorry, my box. My boss keeps texting me. Um, yeah, it's great. <laughs> I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm like, okay, I kind of miss your understanding, but whatever. So, anyways, I was saying that you guys want me to do a question and I just leave the questions up below so and then maybe the next get ready with me, I can um, do the questions and answers. I'm not sure when. Uh, maybe I can do one Thursday if I'm not dead. I then I probably would be dead now. I'm going to get exhausted. So, I'm still using the LA, LA Girl one color corrector and I'm going to use a little bit of um, NYX. Just kind of like a dot here, dot here. Just like a little bit, not too much. Yeah, the thing I still haven't used it up yet. So you can see Pretty Cat's right there, and then Lulu is outside right now. I got the back window open so they can hop in and out. Okay, so this that. So I'm gonna set the sucker with um my powder real quick. Um, He's actually Franken, why not? And I kind of like it too. So I'm going to tap, tap, tap. Again, um, lighting makes anything blowing. But it's going to set, why well, I use the sun spray in the beginning because it gives me a little bit more hydration ish for the. So it doesn't dry out. And I noticed it did help a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, so there's that. I'm also going to use this guy as a finishing power too. Win -win. Now, one Huda power I have is just like, I think it's a new one. That thing is trying. Okay, so next I'm going to try a little bit of, a little bit of fun. I'm going to see how this guy is. I decided to use him as, um, Queen Bonds of Mofa. Okay, a little bit goes along with it. A little bit cool. You can use liquid lipsticks as bronzers. If you don't like the color, but you gotta make sure you, um. What kind of color was that? Maybe it's a little bit on the right side. I don't really don't care. Then next I'm going to try a little bit of cosmetics through the forehead because this one's more orangey. And I have a for something orange across the forehead because of my warm skin tone. And yes, my skin is not this warm that I can pull this shit off. You just have to like really blend. Don't do this if you have unless you have don't have warm skin tone because it's gonna look like a hot mess. Warm skin tone, it's always your friend. It's also a pain in the ass too. So I'm gonna use a little bit of here and here. I'm trying to use very little bit because it's a liquid lipstick and that stuff goes a long way. Actually, this is actually doing a really good job. Cool. So I can use as a cream bronzer. Sweet. Actually, it work. Cool. Sweet. Okay. So there's that. Next, let's get into my bronzer. I decided to use, and I'm going to use um, the Anastasia um, Power Bronzer. That's what the packaging looks like. I do have their blush as well. It's like a little trio, and this guy is in cappuccino. So I'm just going to bounce my brush on my wrist real quick. I'm just kind of like feathering it in. Feather it. This is kind of like, even though it's it's more of like a terracotta, like a little bit on the red side in my opinion, so it can, I have an issue of it going too muddy on me. I really want to get the Tarte one, but I have an extra, not Tarte, I mean, um, Too Faced Bronzer, um, the, I don't know if it's going to work on me or not. So there's that. Okay, now if you want to see a very old one. Okay, it's not as old as this guy, but it's still up there. He's probably at least 10 years old. And this is Quickie from Open Decay. This baby is old. He's about as old as the Mac one. You would think that pink blushes will look kind of weird on me, but they don't. My warm skin tone can pull off any kind of blush, except for it's like a mauve. I can't do mauve. But, um... But yeah, cool. Okay, another, and then we're going to do this Becca highlighter and um, Prismatic Amethyst. Not sure how well this is gonna look because it's like an icy pink. Yeah, yeah, I was dumb. I forgot about this guy's. Okay, it's gonna look a bad chick. Okay, dude. <laughs> okay, huh. Sarah, you're not that light anymore. Oh well, we're gonna. Good thing about Becca is that even though it's light, it still works. Okay, now let's do it for the inner corner. We're going to do, actually no, we're going to set the face real quick. So we're going to use Casino to set my face lightly. This bronze is pretty old as well. The peekaboo on my shadow is not old, it's just like I got in Ipsy, and it's just like, okay, <laughs> whatever. And one of the Ipsy glam bag, Ipsy bags.
I love when people complain about them, people, how they do makeup, and they they don't like to wear makeup. I'm like, if you don't like to wear makeup, each makeup puppet sense is different. Like, hey, I like this. I don't like light shit. So I need to make someone like a set. It doesn't matter because I'm literally going to be washing this stuff off anyways, but I don't like it when it's um super tacky. Of course, because I have pores, phones, anything like that. And etc. And I don't really like for feminine purposes, I don't set my face because it's no point. So, of course, if you like actually real life stuff, yeah, it's on this. Channel. So, I'm at, this is a, um, actually a eyeliner, but it's in. It's in a brown shade, so I'm just going to do kind of like, um, kind of like haphazard fill them in. I've been doing this because I don't use dark browns at all. I use a brown eyeliner. It came in like a little duo. So I'm still sitting, I just have to do, make sure I do it very lightly. Not like that. <laughs> On this one it looks a little bit better because this one has less hair. This is the eye eyebrow that I'm trying to let it grow out more. I've been trying to fix this one for years, like literally years. I had tried to, and even to my again professionally done, they screw them up. They make them worse than this. I'm just like, screw it. Oh yeah, that's so great. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so next I'm just going to take a little bit of my MAC, not my MAC, Makeup Geek um, bronzer, like so. And I was using um Casino, but now I'm not going to use him anymore. So I'm just going to set the set the brows with the powder because, like I said, this one's a very cool tone bronzer. So all my cool tone bronzers are going to be used basically as um set night set in the brows and contour on the nose. Let's go down the nose and everything like that. And I like to kind of like go like so. Okay, so there's that. Now let's do um, some eyeliner or anything like that. And the funny thing is, I actually found my elf one. It was sitting in my um, bathroom drawer. So my Morphe, I have not found him. My my favorite eyeliner brush, I've not found him yet. So I don't know where that thing's at. It is so much quieter here without my nosing my jackass neighbors. I know it always goes that way. I like to keep it kind of like this way a little bit when I flick it. There we go. Kind of like so. Now let's do some underneath the lash line real quick. I might just do like a little slight coat of um, mascara. Why not? Just to make it so it's not so dead up top. I can't wait to show you how to use my new wing light. Um, and then of course I'm getting new extensions as well because these guys need done. Okay, so now let's go back into this palette right here. I actually got like a lid dent in that guy. Kind of like a dorkish blue, I guess you want to call it. So we're gonna, actually going to do a little bit different on, top, on the bottom than we did on top. We're going to use that burgundy, dark burgundy shadow. These Dolce palettes are very nice, but they're all mattes. So if you have like, if you don't have a lot of matte eyeshadows, this works really well. So I'm just going to kind of go like, make the two of them kind of like so. So that's how I kind of trick it, even though the eyeliner, hang on, my nose is bad. Even though my um, eyeliner doesn't do it, I always just kind of like, Connect these two like around here a little bit. Does it stay like that? No. 
then I'm just going to use a little bit of the pink one on the towards the very end. If you have a lot of fine lines that go down here, always use put shot underneath you, on the, underneath it because then it kind of kind of helps with the lash with the fine lines. Okay, now let's get into the inner corner real quick. I might just use this guy right here. We have this one, we have this one. So which one do I want to use? I guess I'm going to use that one because... Wait, what did I say again? This one? Or that one? I guess we got to use this one. Because that one might be a little bit too light, too deep on my... I might want to use that guy too. So we're going to stick him kind of like there. If you haven't tried these online pants from Huda, they're awesome. I love them. They're not as, they're much better than they used to be. So there's that. Now let's pop on a tab in the scale real quick. Nothing extraordinary, because why not? You can use the pure. Post a little cutie or what? He's just, he's like, mom, I'm just chilling. This guy might get chunk. We're just going to do it very lightly. Yeah, I might chunk him because he's... This dude is about as natural as freaking Dollar Tree mascaras, I swear. He's okay when he's on like Lash Primal, but it's very natural. So he's actually going... He's going in the... My empty's been because I'm getting tired of looking at his ugly ass. Okay, now let's get into the lips. Same stupid ass lip line that we've been using for 200 years. He's getting small, so hopefully soon this guy's gonna be gone. Which I might need to sharpen his little ass. This list, this guy's getting short, which is a good thing, right? So I'm gonna use actually the M Cosmetics. These are very nice lipsticks. And what the hell? I'm gonna put quickly, quick, could go on top of it because could go goes with anything, right? He's kind of like my mix one. There we go. See how Kugel is? Kugel's Kugel. He does anything. Transforms like lipstick too, but anything. Okay. This stupid thing, I swear. Fuck it. <laughs> it's gonna be as what it is. Um, so that's on the makeup look. Um, so I hope you guys like it. Um, some of my stuff I do like, of course. Um, if I could repurchase it, what I would purchase again would be, of course, these palettes. Um, I wish she was, I wish the whole formula was, uh, to our square pants, kind of deep before those. I do love the Dulce color shadows, they're really nice, they're easy to in. The eyeshadow part was a hell no, that sucks. Then I wish, um, Orm Decay would bring back their, um, blushes, because I really do like them. Um, the little things, um, singles are kind of, like, nice, whatever. But yeah, um, so... I did like the foundation. The foundation is actually not too bad as well. Did I forget to do a, I forgot, I think I forgot to do a highlight on my nose. So let's do that real quick. Um, that's Becca. Um, I wish Becca was back in. Um, like I said before, it would have been really nice because, okay, there we go. He is light in there. Um, but yeah, until then, um, see you guys in my next video. Um, Tomorrow I do, I did, actually, actually I pre pre-film a video for you guys so you get to see one tomorrow. Um, I probably film that right when I get off from, I probably, um, put it up as soon as I get back from my appointment and anything like that so you can see it. Um, that's my lipstick video so I hope you enjoyed that one. But yeah, um, until my next video, um, see you guys later. Um, Wednesday is kind of like my day off from filming because 
this bitch has to get up a freaking all of shit. Um, unless Chuck decide to, um, come in Wednesday. So quasi fingers it does because this bitch does not want to get up at 3.30 in the morning. Probably most likely it would be, let's see, I usually had to be at 5, so she wants me 30 minutes early. So yeah, fuck my life. Um, this is, I'm going to be dead. So I'm going to probably have to get about 3.40 now. Great. Um, so I see you guys later in my next video. Bye guys.